Because I will have this on a station by itself. It just depends on if I've got to or not. But we'll be doing a few internal cats and I have the muscles to do. Okay, so what's our first part? Over eight. So which side is this? Right. So there's the right over eight. Fallopian? The pink right in front of it is the right fallopian tube. Right fimbriae come around the back, but don't actually touch in reality. They just sit offset from the ovary like that and pulse. Okay. So they're not really touching. Now what? Uterus. Okay, so there's the outside of the uterus from that side and then the inside. Endometrium? Okay. Yeah, cross it off. Mile? Cross it off. Perimetrium? Cross that up. Fundus of the Cross that up. Body? Cross that up. Cervix? We'll keep that. No, we keep the cervix. <laughs> so there's the cervix, either side, doesn't matter. Just one cervix. External os of cervix? It's right there. Just external os is all I need. So it's that final protrusion of the cervix. Rectal. Hang on, we're going to come back to this. We'll do fornix first. So fornix, did I point at the right one? So the fornix is this little pouch that the os is sitting in. It's part of the vagina, which is that part. It's really folded. Now the cervix was folded a little. This is heavily folded. So when a doctor is checking, they'll reach inside and they'll feel for the external os, and it's it means bone literally, but it's not. It's hard, but not the, not not a bone. Sperm is left during intercourse, is left in the fornix, so then it has to swim through the external loss, into the cervix, into the uterus, all the way through into this fallopian tube if it's going to have a successful pregnancy. It's got to fertilize right in here. Otherwise, too late, too early, anywhere else. You either implant them into the fallopian tube and you're going to kill the mother. If they do not terminate the pregnancy, they're going to have to remove the tube if it's damaged. She's hemorrhaging typically when she feels that pain. You wait, she'll, it'll blow up and she'll bleed out. So both the baby and the mom are dead. It's amazing any of us are born because it's got to happen. Fertilization in here to implant in here. Otherwise, too late. Too early, too late. Ovarian ligament? Hang on, we got to come. <laughs> oh, go, go. Hey, look, we'll do the ovarian you're ligament. Did the vagina the and right ovarian ligament's right there, and it is numbered. So it came out of the ovary. It would have been nice to have put it up there, but anyway, it didn't get put there. And this one, they're the same color. The other one is it's pink for some reason. It shouldn't be. But it is. And then your round ligament, right round ligament, is this guy coming. So those two, the fallopian tube and the ovarian ligament, run parallel to each other, side by side, straight up and down, basically. And the round ligaments down lower and coming across at a different angle. Now we'll go back up here. The Recto uterine pouch. So what's it between? What part? The uterus and the rectum. So there's the uterus, there's the rectum, there's the recto uterine pouch. So they're named exactly where they're at. Vesico uterine. What did I say what the vesica was? Vesicum. Bladder. Urinary bladder. So there's the bladder. There's the uterus. There's the vesico uterine pouch. Right in between. So that's why I explained what that was already. Uterosacral. Uterosacral. This is your right uterosacral way up here. That fold basically is really what it is. Clitoris. Clitoris is the little guy. So the number's right there and on the other side right there. Labia majora. The right labia majora is right there. The five? Four. Labia minora. There's your left, there's your right. Ureter? Ureter. 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 Remember, come out of the kidney, so way up here, number nine is your right and your left. I would never flag the left, but that's it coming in. 
so you know that this is the left side. Hence that was left labia minor. Urinary bladder? So from inside urinary bladder, outside urinary bladder. Tunicus cross off. Tunicum muscularis. On the other term. This. The truser muscle. There is the detrusor muscle. Remember, always the muscle of the urinary bladder. The outside? Mm -hmm. oh. Tunica serosa? Cross off. Urethra? See, so the urethra comes out of the bladder. That's the urethra. And there it is on this part. Right there. So the number squeezed in there. I don't know what it is, but it's squeezed up in there. Mons pubis? First, we'll go down to and fix that so it reads pubic symphysis. That's the pubic symphysis. It's truly the cartilage, not symphysis pubis, which would have been bone. That's so the it's cartilage. That's the pubic symphysis. That's the joint that they cut. And all this fat, and I'd flag it right there, is the mons pubis. That's where the pubic hair grows, and it'll grow on down through the labia majora. Okay, so it's pubic hair all the way down. Sacrum? Sacrum is the bone back here. Coccyx? Coccyx is this little bitty guy, and there's a little bit the other side of it there. So basically four, three to five is how many bones you have down there. Rectum? The rectum is this guy back here. And the anus? The opening itself. 